Okay, in this video, we are going to look at installing MySQL Workbench on OS X. And I have uh, brought up the MySQL website. You can see there uh, on the screen. And this is like the main page for MySQL uh, Workbench. Version 6.3 is current at the time of recording. Uh, if there's something newer, go ahead and uh, go ahead and use that. You might see some some differences in the screens, but it is a pretty pretty stable product. So um, I don't expect this is going to involve too much going forward. Uh, but they, they may change things on us. So I'm going to come in here and click on the Download Now button. You can see this takes me to the Downloads page. And I want to use Mac OS, or OS X, as I like to say. Uh, this is going to bring down an archive that I will be able to use. So I'm going to click Download. And you'll see the screen here. It's asking you to set up a, an Oracle account. You do not need to do that. Uh, you can come in here and say, no thanks, just start my download. And they kind of hide it at the bottom, making you think that you need an account, but you actually don't. So I'm going to go say, no thanks, just start my download. And you can see that this is downloading. Uh, it goes by pretty quick. I'm going to be able to click on this guy right here, uh, launch it. It will bring it up and it will complete the installation process here. So it goes through verifying the image. And if you're familiar with uh, OS X, uh, you can see this is pretty standard stuff. So I'm just going to click and drag this into applications. And you can see that it does should copy it over. Let's see, I have quite a few applications here. And there's the MySQL Workbench app. And I'm going to go ahead and launch that. You can see the first time that we launch it, we're going to get a warning that says that uh, we just downloaded it from the internet. Uh, we know that we did this. We can see that it came from dev.mysql.com. And we can say safely open that, just a little security warning from uh, Mac, Mac OS or OS X, as many people like to say. I still say OS X, but I think uh, Apple's officially calling it Mac OS. And now you can see the initial screen here, and you can see my SQL connections. Uh, you might not have this, this is probably because I've used it before. You may need to add a local host, so I think you will. So if you just go in and add in a host name of 127.0.0.1 and port 3.3.0.6, username of root, and we'll go ahead and store it in a uh, keychain. And I'm going to cancel this and use my existing connection. And it's asking me for for that. And I believe this is going to be your operating system password to take it off the keychain. So now we've gone ahead and opened up the MySQL editor. And a couple couple things here. We can see we have a variety of uh, things to look at here. We have the server status. We can see information about the MySQL server. And this is for my system running the current version and, and versions that I have installed. So yours might be slightly uh, different. And we can see things like clients and connections. And there are connections out there. These are processes that are going to be running by the MySQL server. One of them is ours. So what you see may be different depending on what's going on in the system. Users, we just have uh, that root. And then these two MySQL dot accounts, those are system accounts, which you should never have to log into. So don't worry about those. And we will be getting into data import and exports later. And then you have administration functions, which we will be exploring f later in the course. Uh, and then the, the important thing here is the schemas. Only sys is shown. And remember, we had a MySQL uh, schema displayed before. It looks like that uh, in the uh, GUI tool, they are filtering out some of the uh, low-lying uh, schemas. So we will be uh, creating schemas in the future. And just a slight terminology uh, change when we were on the command line, they were called databases, and here they're called schemas. So same thing, slightly different concept, but just uh, effectively the same thing. So this is going to be effectively a separate database or schema that we will be looking at. And don't, don't worry if you're confused, we will be exploring this in the course going forward. But here we have the sys schema, and we can see here if I expand out, this has a, a number of tables in here. I can come in here and should be able to double click on that. I thought I could. Select rows. There we go. 
just did a, a select select row. So that shows me what's in that table. And again, we do have a MySQL schema, but this is being hidden from us. So you can see here it did select uh, star from sys.sysconfig. If I change this to mysql.users, remember we did this for, from the command line before, and I run that. No, he doesn't exist. I thought that would work. And took a, a brief pause there to look and see what I was doing wrong. And I'm actually doing uh, user rather than users. So now we get that data. And I also took a, a quick look at some of the options here. And something I had not noticed before. Um, if we have this here, the system, only the sys. If I come up here to file, I'm sorry, preferences. If I go to the SQL editor and we have show metadata and internal schemas, if I click there and say, okay, then come over here and refresh. Now we see that MySQL schema is actually shown our database as we said before when we're with command line. So these are internal schemas that are going to be used by the MySQL database. There are some useful things in there, but generally, you should not be playing in here for general databases. We will create our own schemas and utilize those and kind of segment that off. So these are things that are internal to MySQL. And if you go in there and start changing data, uh, you can really cause yourself a lot of headaches to the point of corrupting the database and uh, making it unusable. So definitely do not be playing inside of these schemas if you do not know what you're doing. So just a, a word to the wise. And these are uh, this is from experience, <laughs> to be honest. But uh, going forward in the course, we will be creating our own schemas and populating data in those and using those. Uh, I will show you how to use uh, do this step-by-step -step, uh, coming up in the course.